Hi and welcome to another video by me, FlowJo. So today we're going to be looking at the power automate function of length. Now length works with both strings as well as collections. So let's take a look at a collection first. We're going to make an array. We're going to use three names, Joe, Jax and Meg. This is going to be our array. So what we're going to do is we're going to initialize a variable called names and we're going to pass each of those names into our array. So we have a total of three. Then what we're going to do is we're going to pass the names array into our length function. And what we're going to get back is three because it's going to count each item in the collection. Now, how does this work with a string then? Well, let's say we've got a variable of name called flowjo. So we've got a string of flowjo assigned to this variable. It has seven characters. Now if we pass in the string into the length function, just like we've done with our array, what's actually going to happen is it's going to return seven. So the one function can actually work with two different types. So let's actually look at this on Power Automate then. Okay, so we're on Power Automate and I've got a manual trigger flow here. All I'm doing firstly is I'm setting a string variable and I'm putting the value of flow Joe there. Then I'm also creating an array, so an array of names. And then I'm passing three names into the array, Jax, Joe, and Meg. And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be checking the length of the collection, the array, by passing in the variable names, so the array of names into the length function. And then I'm also going to be checking the length of the string by simply passing the string variable, string name, into the length function as well. So we're going to be able to see both the string and array counted by the one length function. So let's give this a test. Just kick off this flow. As you can see, this flow ran successfully. We added flowjo to the string names variable and then we added all of the names to the array so let's just check to see how many items are in our array now obviously we have joe jacks and meg so we're expecting three which we have there and then let's check the length of the string so flowjo is a total of seven characters and that is how you use the length function in Power Automate for both strings and collections. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.